Deep Slut West Secondary School. Like most other schools and townships, resources are limited. While science is about discovery and experimentation, pupils here have to contend with just textbooks. As a school, we're struggling uh, even to teach uh, physical science. They are struggling in terms of uh, the, to, to conduct uh, practicals because, uh, you know, science, it involves experiments. As part of a strategy to change this, PPC has teamed up with the Department of Education to install a fully equipped mobile lab for these learners. Science and maths and, and nowadays technology as well is, is critical. They are hard skills which um, people need, I think, to succeed globally. Um, and particularly for a business like ours that's involved in manufacturing and mining to some extent, those are key skills uh, which you require. So uh, it's good, it's good for, the, for society to have a, a good core of people who understand maths and science. The teachers too are equipped with all the latest technology to provide interesting lessons that are in line with international standards. We have cards for life science, we have cards for phys uh, physical science, and then we have combination cards. And we develop the content so that it's uh, easy for the teacher to navigate and you can share the resource between classrooms because education doesn't have the money to build computer labs, uh, uh, computer labs um, and science labs. Despite a poor pass rate in maths and science across South Africa, learners want to get involved and improve. I think with South Africa things are different. Like we don't have those like people were educated enough to make a change in South Africa. We all rely on other countries to like manufacture things and bring them back, which affects the economy badly. It's going to change a lot because, I mean, the technology has improved a lot and having the mobile science lab is going to help us a lot through a science experiment. I want to be a scientist because I'm very curious on what happens in science and I want to study the stars and see what actually is this thing and how does it affect us. But adequate resources to fill this massive gap are still some way off. In this school, there are over 1,000 students. Psychometric testing will filter out the students best suited for future learning in science and technology. So the first thing we're trying to do is identify who has a psychometric bent for these kind of things and those people will be naturally interested in them. But the second thing is we've got to make it practical. So these science labs make it practical. You use your hands, you do real experiments, the information's there at every moment. The government is on a massive drive to encourage learners to take up maths and science education and is calling on more private sector companies to get involved. This is not only to prepare young South Africans for an interconnected, technology-driven world, but to also address the massive skills shortage in the country. Subitra Nadu, CCTV, Johannesburg, South Africa.